Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how the North Korea situation is not the United States' fault, that the United States does not want war with North Korea if they can prevent it. They will go if they have to, but they try their best to prevent it. And in 1983, in Beijing, China, the U.S. and North Korea have had diplomatic relations with China for a very long time. They both have. But when China had events that involved foreign dignitaries or foreign ambassadors, the U.S. and North Korean ambassadors and representatives in China, they didn't speak to each other. They didn't acknowledge each other. Well, President Ronald Reagan changed that and said, you can go over to the North Koreans and shake their hands and say hi, be friendly with them. Then shortly after that, the U.S. embassies of the U.S. Embassy and the North Korean Embassy, the U.S. Embassy and the North Korean Embassy in Beijing, China, established a direct phone line of communications with each other. Also, President Ronald Reagan started to allow cultural exchanges, uh, sports exchanges, and to grant visas to North Koreans to come to the U.S. on a case-by-case -case basis. A lot of that was stopped, though, because in 1987, North Korea blew up a Korean airline flight 858 Two North Korean spies did that. Pretty sick and disgusting, but they did. And But with the next president, George H.W. Bush, he discontinued the team spirit exercises, that the, the joint military exercise between the U.S. and South Korea. They were only continued again when the U.S. found out North Korea was developing nuclear weapons. Then when Bill Clinton became president, he sent light water reactors to North Korea, and those light water reactors were done for civilian nuclear energy purposes in exchange for North Korea dismantling their Yongbyon reactor facility. And Bill Clinton also sent heavy fuel oil shipments. But despite that, North Korea was developing a secret nuclear program in another location. Then go to President George W. Bush. And President Obama's policies are very similar to President George W. Bush as far as North Korea goes, but President George W. Bush sent a lot of food aid to North Korea, and the only reason the food aid was stopped or reduced is because Korea, North Korea, North Korea was expelling Korean language speaking aid workers. So the food was not getting to the starving people. They were going to the only the elite class, the Workers' Party members which that was not what the food was intended for. And because North Korea, again, dismantled its Yongbyon nuclear facility, the reactor in the Yongbyon nuclear facility, North Korea was taken off the countries that sponsor terrorism list. Despite all the terrorism they have done, and I personally firmly believe they continue to do and be involved in it. So, the U.S. has done a lot to try to engage North Korea diplomatically. President George W. Bush brought the six-party talks, and President Obama has continued that. The six-party talks involve Russia, China, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and the United States. And that's just, yep, yeah, and the United States. That's, and that is not aggressive by any stretch of the imagination. That's not being a totalitarian, it's not being a fascist on the U.S. part. They do what they can. It's just North Korea is an evil state. They're a totalitarian state. And so the problem is not the United States. They have made every conscious effort to try to engage North Korea diplomatically. Anyway, okay, before I go, I'm going to give some further details. Example, in 1991, a uh, North Korean named Kong Dae-yong his mother is Korean American and she died and the U.S. gave him a visa to go to the U.S. so he could attend his mother's funeral. Also, around that time, a food company in New Jersey gave North Korea $100 million worth of food and North Korea was supposed to pay them back. But North, the only reason the food shipment stopped is because North Korea wasn't remitting the payments. So, that happened. Also, um, South. now this was not the U.S., this was South Korea. Im Young Bak, he gave North Korea a lot of aid to rebuild their country after a major flood, but he brought all the aid back, all the cement and all the tools, because they were using it to manufacture nuclear weapons or build nuclear weapons facilities. So, it's not the USA and... 
they've tried to engage North Korea diplomatically. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.